Lenovo X Clarity Essentials is a collection of utilities which enable administrators to manage servers simply, efficiently, and with less overhead. One of those utilities is Bootable Media Creator, which allows administrators to create bootable media that can be used to apply firmware updates. To start, we have downloaded Bootable Media Creator to our personal workstation and started the tool. First, we're going to select the system we need to update. Notice that if we chose to, we could select multiple systems. Next, we're going to identify the location of the updates. We could choose to check the Lenovo support site, but in this case, we've already downloaded the updates we need to a local directory. Next, we choose our media format, and we want to create a bootable image file and we've selected the name of the file here. Finally, we want to run this unattended, so we'll select this radio button and indicate an appropriate TFTP server to write the logs to. Finally, we can review our choices, which look good. So we select to create the Boodle Media image. So we can see that the ISO image file has been completed successfully, and we're ready for the next step. Now we're going to apply this update to the remote server. We've already logged into the XClarity controller, so from here we'll launch the remote console. Within the remote console now, I want to activate the ability to mount remote media, and we're going to choose the file that we just created a moment ago with Boodle Media Creator. So we're going to select mount that media. And in this case, the server was powered off, so we're going to simply powered on from here. We had the CD DVD device first in our boot order, so it recognizes the bootable media creator image and boots to our bootable media creator. When we created the image, we selected to run unattended, so the update process starts automatically. So we get the message indicating that the update was complete and the process exits. So with bootable media creator, we were able to easily create a bootable image that we could mount out to our servers and easily update the firmware on a remote system.